Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome to my garage. Now, if you guys have been following along, you'll notice that I am making some progress out here. This place was full of junk. Uh, we've been here for a couple of months now and most of the junk has been organized out in my shop. Uh, I did get a drywall box built around our electrical panel, so now there isn't wires and stuff all over the place, so it's nice. I 3D printed a cover for our Emporia view down at the bottom. Uh, yeah, this space is turning into something fairly nice. I'm sure you guys saw my video on installing these lights. They're pretty cool. Got my workout area all done over there with my projection screen and the projector up there. But, now that we've got all this space cleared out, my wife has been parking her car in here. She has been challenging herself to park as close as she can to the garage door so we have as much space as possible here. And she actually laid down this painter's tape on the floor. And, uh, you know, with most of my projects, I like to solve problems and organize things. And I will say, probably four out of every five projects are semi-successful. Like they work, but maybe they're not groundbreaking or anything. And then the fifth project's awesome. <clears throat> I have no idea where this project is gonna fall on that spectrum, but um, I wanted to get the tape up off the floor. I wanted to give her some kind of guide for how deep to park her car every day. Uh, I turned to my sharpest tool in my toolbox to try and come up with an answer. That's the internet. And uh, I did discover that they make laser-based parking aids, and they're basically motion-sensitive laser dots. And so you angle them to some point that you can line up on your car. Uh, seems like a pretty good solution. The problem is, is we use this space other than for parking. And so I did not want something that was motion activated. I wanted something that was automatic. It doesn't require a remote or anything. And so I thought about it and I thought, you know, I can trigger this with the lights on the garage door opener because the only time the garage door opener opens and closes is when the car is coming in and out. So that's a perfect trigger for me. And then I thought, you know, I can get a laser line and line that up somewhere on the on the car and then when she backs in uh, the laser light will shine right through the skylight and there'll be something in the car that she can just back up to and line, align the laser with and that'll set the perfect depth every single time so this project is not very expensive and it's not very difficult it's not going to take a whole lot of time but i think it's going to be pretty fun i like lasers they're pretty cool uh, this is kind of a geeky way of uh, setting the parking depth, so let's get to it. All right, this entire project is going to cost me about $30. This is stuff I bought on uh, Amazon. The cookies are not part of this project. I got a green laser line right here, along with power supply for it. Uh, it came with this mounting hardware here, which I'm just going to be using this magnet right here and this little articulating arm. And... Uh, I bought this power socket adapter, which is how we're gonna power this. And this is just gonna screw in place of one of the light bulbs in the garage door opener. A couple of zip ties, and that's all we need. Now let's plug this thing in here and I'll show you. This laser is uh, plenty bright. It's a green laser line, and even with all the lights on in here, you can see it really well. All right, so let's head out to the garage here and put all this stuff in place before my wife gets home from work today. All right. Well, with the LED lights off in here, the laser is pretty obvious in here. I do need to square this up with the wall, although just visually it's pretty square. I'd say it's good enough for what we're gonna do. So yeah, turn the light off. I'd say that should work. Now we just gotta wait for the wife to get home and let her back in and see if she notices. All right, well, it has been a week and 
my wife tells me she's not using the laser at all. <laughs> it's uh, definitely a failure in how I organize things. I can understand why. I'll show you what's going on here. So you can see we've got the laser beam on the floor there. Shows on the car right here. Here's the issue. Where the laser is located right there, see it goes right over the sunroof and everything. Um, the problem is there's an interior cover on the sunroof and she doesn't want to pull that back every time to actually get some kind of reference. And because the laser is on this half of the car, she can't see it on the driver's side anywhere and it's almost impossible to see this little line in through the window here. That's essentially the only spot she can see it is right there. So what we need to do is move this laser to some place that's more visible. I'm thinking maybe right up here on the corner of the hood or the windshield wipers, something like that, right on the front of the dash. Somewhere in here where it's going to be obvious. Maybe even up on the hood is the best place because it'll show very brightly on the hood just like it does here. That's what we're going to do. We're going to move the laser from up there and we're going to move it to... She's parked a little far back here. So somewhere right up about here, I'd say maybe even with the edge of that drywall corner right there. So that's going to be step number one. And then step number two, she tells me she really wants the, uh, the guidelines on the floor as well. So I have ordered a second laser and we're gonna put that laser right on top of this blue tape right here. Uh, that's gonna be kind of project number two. And then project number three, since the cover didn't fit back on here, uh, I didn't wanna leave that wall wart right there. So I, wanted, I got a uh, extension cord that's got a flat uh, connector on the end of it, which will, which will allow me to put that cover back on there. And that'll also give me an extra three feet of cable so I can move the lasers and mount them up on the ceiling. So that's what we're gonna do today. We'll do that and then we'll back the car in and out a few times, make sure that my plan works and that should conclude this project. These little kits are kind of cool. They uh, come with this magnet, which is what I was using, and then an adhesive plate for the magnet, but then they also come with this triple screw thing, which is what I'm going to use next. They don't weigh anything, so I'm not going to put drywall anchors in. I'm just going to screw right into the drywall. That'll hold well enough. Good. I don't know. I'm going to zip tie up the rest of these, snip the ends of the zip ties off, and then turn off the lights and see what I can see. Well, you can see I've got a laser line right along the edge of this tape, and then it crosses with this one right here. So the hope is when you back the car in, you can see this laser line in the rear view camera and in the side mirror, and then this one shows up on the hood. It'll be right about uh, It'll be right where the glass meets the dash. I'm not really sure how visible it's going to be, but yeah. Yeah, I don't really know. I'm going to try it out. All right, a little trial and error here. And the laser is, I'm not sure how well it shows up on the camera, but it's right here. And I found that if I put it right in this spot, that that is the correct depth. So you'll see as we 
pull out here that it goes down the dash and across the floor. So that depth laser works really good. The line laser on the side doesn't show up in the backup camera very well. It does show up just fine in the rear view mirror, it's just the backup camera, but the rear view mirror doesn't tip down in reverse, so I don't know, maybe that's something I can add. But yeah, they're in the backup camera here. It's, again, I'm not sure how good it's gonna show up in the video, but that laser line is somewhere right along there. And then as we come in here, we should see that other laser line come right across the floor and then up the dash. There we go. Well, I like a good laser as much as the next guy, but I'm uh, actually pretty happy with this. Definitely the depth laser is, works exactly like I had hoped. This line laser right here um, I think it could work. I might have to do some tweaks or something. The, the issue is it just doesn't show up so much in the rear, in the backup camera. And I think it's also distracting to still have the tape down here. So maybe we'll pull up the tape and see how much she likes it. But I think I'm going to call this video good here. Uh, I'm not going to do anything else on this project until we've used this for a while. So thanks for tuning in and we will catch you on next week's video.